The player in the most severe attack was punished, but Gower's parents say that's not enough. Fox 4's Alex Boyer with the football targeting investigation. Alex. Heather, well, Jennifer Gower says that she's been patient, wanting to let the school districts and UIL complete their investigations. But when she found out that the player who gave her son a concussion was back out on the field just a week later, she decided to speak out upset with the outcome. No, I feel like that kid is allowed to, allowed to act that way. Jennifer Gower can't forget what she saw on the night of September 13th. Her son Jagger, number 14 in black, playing for Burleson High School in a freshman game hit and choked by number 76 from Waco University High School. His head repeatedly slammed into the ground. If this is allowed to happen, then it's going to happen to somebody else. Gower believes her son was targeted by players from the opposing team during kickoffs. I've been told it's because he was a quarterback, but I'm not... I'm not satisfied with that answer. Not satisfied because Jagger, who plays special teams, was one of two Burleson High School QBs who played that night. The other one, Gower says, was left alone. In another video, you see Jagger targeted and laid out by number 18. And during another play, number 76, the same player who would later choke Jagger, tackles him and then holds on to him. When he finally lets go, it appears another player pushes Jagger to knock him down. My biggest thing is I don't want this to happen to any other kid or a parent, and I feel like if we as parents in the community, I'm so sorry, um, if we could stand up. In a statement to Fox 4, a Burleson ISD spokesperson says in part, our coaches quickly ran onto the field to intervene on behalf of our player, adding they protested the incident with Waco ISD officials. Waco ISD tells Fox 4, obviously we do not condone the behavior depicted in the videos posted on Facebook, adding the player faced consequences mandated by UIL and additional consequences imposed by the district. According to a UIL spokeswoman, that player, number 76, was required to sit out the remainder of the Burleson game and the first half of the next game. Gower, who says Jagger will have to sit out three games due to a concussion, is stunned by the punishment. I don't feel like that's acceptable at all. And Gower did not want her son Jagger involved in this story. Now that UIL spokeswoman I spoke to tells me that the league could have imposed a longer suspension but opted not to uh, in this case. Now again, Waco ISD uh, said that it is taking additional steps against the player, but because of privacy laws, we don't know what those additional disciplinary steps are. Heather?